So this is going to be a setup for a bunch of different stuff. I am using the Cooler Master Elite 130. And as you can see, it's pretty small, pretty compact. I mean, it is a mini ITX case. There are smaller mini ITX cases, but it's small enough to fit in there. Right back there, but there's like no ventilation, okay? That's a big thing. That's a big no-no. This thing is getting choked out of uh, its airflow, and so its heat is going through the roof. Crazy amounts. Even right now, where it's sitting, the air is not very good. It's okay, like, it's it's doable, but it's not where I want it to be. So, I happen to have picked up that. One of these bad boys, okay? So I am going to be putting this in the system. So, look out for that. Also, I will go over what's wrong with this right now. Uh, even being outside of this death chamber, this heat chamber, this furnace, um, there are airflow issues, and I will take the case off and show you it now. That's what this will be about, is the airflow issues. Okay, so here it is, out. Here is all the cables. Hard drive right there where um, there could be a three, um, excuse me, a five and a quarter inch bay right there. That would be your um, CD, DVD, Blu-ray, something like that, optical drive. Right here, I'm going to turn up the ISO. Lots of cables and stuff. There's a little 90 millimeter fan, I believe, power supply. And then right in there is this stock heat sink I've been using. You can kind of see it shimmer right there. Yeah, you can definitely see the metal. And that pretty much blows the air up, and then it hits the power supply, and then it tries to go out in any direction, and it just can't. The air is not being moved. I mean, this dinky little thing is not doing too much. I don't expect really anything out of it. And so, the thing is, I need to get the air out of the case somehow, or I need just a better cooler, something like that. There's not a lot of clearance right here. I mean, there's there's hardly any. I can barely stick my finger in between the power supply and the stock Intel heatsink. And with a... Um, with a processor like I have, an i7-3770K, it does want to heat up a little bit inside of that thing while doing rendering for videos. I was getting anywhere from 90 to 105 Celsius. Really bad. Not something I want going. No throttling or anything. Everything was going fine. So it may very well be okay, but it was getting to the point where I was worrying for the health of my parts and I didn't want anything to go wrong, so I just figured I'd go ahead and pick something up and see if that helps, and I will give you like a part two on that.